Hi everybody, Maggie here. So, um, a couple of things happened this week. Um, I had at the beginning of November, beginning of November, um, let's see, let's backtrack. Towards the beginning of the year, I've had, obviously, you know, some people who know me, I've had ankle issues in my left ankle for quite some time. Um, between physical therapy and getting shots, they also recommended ankle surgery, which I wasn't too excited about. Um, I supposedly could have gotten it back in March, and I honestly wish I did because we did shut down in the spring summer. But this past Tuesday, I got my ankle surgery. Everything went well, everything went fine. Nurses called me this morning to check up on me um, because, unfortunately, the there are some complications during said surgery. Um, I had a bronchial spasm, so essentially my lungs asphyxiated and it pulled bacteria from my stomach into my lungs. When that happened, I just happened to stop breathing for a couple of seconds in the middle of my surgery. Um, doctors, surgeons, nurses were right on it when it happened and pumped me full of medicine to get myself breathing again. Um, it's honestly a really scary thought to know that you stopped breathing during the middle of your surgery because it's, it's honestly a really scary thing, but I am glad to be here. Um, I'm at home now. Um, but because of the bronchial spasm, they had to send me to the hospital yesterday for observation. They kept me overnight. Um, I tested negative for the flu. I tested negative for the COVID. Um, COVID tests are not fun. They like poked right here into your brain. If you ever get a COVID test, usually they could do a nose swab. But if you get a COVID test where it's pretty much you feel the Q-tip right in your eyeball and they rub it for five seconds. It's the worst pain ever. Um, test negative for both of that. Um, but because of the spasm and the bacteria, there was a spot of pneumonia in my lungs. So I am on antibiotics for that. Um, and they could just kept me overnight for observation, all that good stuff. Um, I guess it's due to the spasm and then due to the tube in my esophagus. Um, it hurts a little. Um, just kind of the laugh and everything. I was trying to watch a YouTube video yesterday and I couldn't laugh <laughs> because it hurts a little bit to laugh. Um, but yeah, I'm set up at home. I got crutches, which I'm probably not going to use because I almost fell with crutches. I was not comfortable. Um, but my dad found a walker, so I have a walker to use to hobble myself to and from the bathroom. Um, I'm set up my lovely leg. Um, the numb block is still wearing off because they had to numb my entire leg from the knee down to do the surgery. Um, but that's wearing off. I felt a little bit of pain this morning, so I took some pain medication. Um, on my right leg, you can probably hear it in the video, there is a compression sleeve on my leg, which kind of inflates and deflates to keep the blood flow in my leg, especially if I'm not going to be moving around a lot. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's scary. Um, when I first made the initial post on my Facebook, I was going to the hospital. Of course, family called and everything. Um, they're all worried. I know I worry with a lot of people, but I am okay. I'm home. I'm safe. I'm comfortable. I got blankets. I got my Switch. Cute little bear that Rob got me for our first Valentine's, so it's kind of sentimental to me right now. Um, yeah, but other than that, it's, it's, I'm here. I'm here. I'm glad I'm here. Um, I just want to keep you guys updated on what's going on and everything. Um, thanks to all my friends, my family, my coworkers for all your thoughts and prayers and everything and all this. Um, the ankle surgery went really, really well. The nurses reassured me that this morning when they called to check up on me. Um, and then I'm going to be on the antibiotics for a couple of days, pain medicine for a couple of days. Um, I can't be walking anywhere for three weeks. So I'll be in bed, plenty of games to play, plenty of books to read, all that fun stuff. But yeah, but thanks guys for um, checking up on me, thinking about me. I appreciate it. I know... Well, this is scary. And like I said, it's honestly a really scary thought to hear that you stop breathing during your surgery. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> but um, the funny story out of all this was um, when I woke up from the anesthesia, this is what I clearly remember. I woke up from the anesthesia. They told me that my mom was in the room. 
I look straight at her. I'm like, oh, hi, mom. And like as loud as I can be, as loud as I can be. And then they're telling me that I was going to the hospital and I kept questioning them. Why? Why do I have to go? And then they're like, oh, you threw up a little bit. We just got to get you checked out. And then the moment they told me that, I was like, oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm so I just apologized to everybody in the room. And then as they were like getting me both out, I was then saying hi to everybody. Even like people that were just kind of walking in for their appointments. I was just saying hi to anybody that I saw. Um, even as I got to the hospital, I was saying hi to everybody that I saw. It was, I guess, kind of entertaining, but also kind of embarrassing and everything. So, um, but yeah, but thanks to all the doctors at MedStar um, Orthopedics, you guys were great. Um, they took care of me. Also the same with everyone at Union Memorial. Nurses took care of me and everything. Um, but I am glad to be home, safe, alive, and comfortable. And once again, thank you guys for your thoughts, prayers, phone calls, text messages, Facebook messages, um, Facebook comments, all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I'll be back on my feet in a couple of weeks. I'm going to take it easy for the time being. But... Yeah, thanks guys for watching. Thank you for thinking about me. And I'm glad to be here. So, peace. Talk to you guys soon.